Bill and Dave are on the lam. Not a scam. Grab your cam. Could be in a traffic jam or maybe in Siam. Bill and Dave are hiding out. What's their route? Won't give out. Searching Brussels for a sprout. They rarely mill a boat. Bill and Dave are on the lam. On a tram in Rotterdam. Don't you forward them. You spam. They're clearly on the lam. Hey, Yay. it's on the lamb. It's on the lamb. Um, hey, um, this is Bill. And this is Marge. And uh, Daver. Mm -hmm, don't see him. Wendy, are you anywhere in the room? Ah, do you see her? No. Nope. Uh, I think Not it's here. just Bill and Marge this time. And uh, of course, I knew that. You knew that after I said it. But um. This is uh, going to be a special story arc of On the Lambs. And um, I'm not sure how I'm going to post them or how I'm going to include them. I might um, alternate them. Like right now, as it stands, we put up a new On the Lamb, or try to, most every Tuesday of the week. And... I don't know if I'm going to put these in on Tuesdays in their own block or if I'm going to alternate them with the ones that Daver and I do and sometimes Marge, sometimes Wendy joins us, sometimes both of them. But they are going to be a series under themselves and um, I'm going to, and I'll explain why in a sec, I'm going to call this series of podcasts, the On the Lamb Key West Story Arc series. And this is episode number one in that series. It may end up having another number, episode number, um, within the pantheon. Oh, if I see, see I'm putting Marge asleep, I can only imagine what I'm doing to somebody else. Uh, let me just finish this thought. Within the pantheon of <laughs> On the Lamb uh, episodes, I'm not sure uh, how it's going to end up being labeled, but uh, just to identify it to you, our listener, the uh, it's this is number one, and so we don't know if there's going to be uh, three podcasts in this Key West uh, story arc, or if there's going to be Ten or more. I mean, there could be because, and then this is the thing. Uh, this year is March and my twenty-fifth wedding anniversary, and we are treating ourselves to a nice road trip vacation down to Key West, Florida. We are from, of course, Elwood, Illinois, the Chicago area, but um, the. Distance to Key West, the southernmost point in the United States, um, is about 1,500 miles plus, you know, give or take as the crow flies. We're not flying on crows on this trip. And we're not flying on an airplane either. We're driving. So it's a three-week trip we're taking. We're taking a week to kind of wind our way down. And then we're going to stay for a whole week in Key, in Key West, doing various things, seeing various things, enjoying Key West. And uh, then we're going to take a week or so to get back. And it, it's turning out to be a nice uh, time. Um, this is episode one of this uh, special podcast series, but... It is the third night that we spent on the road. Right. And uh, what was the first town we made it to, Marge? We made it to Columbus, Indiana. That's right. That was night. Columbus, first night. Indiana. Yeah. Which is uh, south of Indianapolis. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's what it was about 200. 
250 miles, something like yeah, that. Yeah, a little less than that. Yeah, 247, I think I remember yeah, writing we down. Yeah, they've written down someplace. We've been keeping a mileage chart every day. Yeah, and then um, our second uh, night was uh, we kept moving south, and we ended up um, just a little south east of Nashville. Um, we crossed through Kentucky into Tennessee, and it's Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro. Yeah, right. and that is the site of the, of a battle and of a Civil War battle and Civil um, War battle. Yeah, yeah, Civil War battle. We we're in Civil War country right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So that was a battle site, which we, you know, kind of I I've been sort of making a little checklist of places might like to visit on the way back if we have time because we're we're uh, trying to get down there by a down to Key West by a certain day of course and then coming back we won't have to be so rigid about our yeah, we have a reservation for the right at this certain uh, night and uh, an undisclosed uh, uh, Key West location but we may disclose it after we yeah there. yeah so we may give it a shout we have out a good, if we may give it a shout looks out. like we'll probably yeah it looks like a nice place it looks like we'll probably give it so we were in Murfreesboro and then tonight, yes, and, and we can probably we can get back to today's. Oh yeah, <laughs> but, but definitely. We can adventures in a minute, but yeah. uh, we're now in Macon, Georgia. Yes, we really hauled ass today. Mm -hmm. we, uh, and it was, a, it was a was scenic drive because we went through the sort of the foothills of the. Appalachians or Appalachians, if you want to say that, if you're from or Appalachia. and a part of the Appalachia Cumberland Land. Mountains were in there too, which which the, are, you know, if you go a little farther east of here, it becomes the Great Smoky Mountains. Right. So it's and all that, that same. kind of the Tennessee, mm -hmm. the the hills of Tennessee, as they say. And uh, it oh, is um, another place we pass by, by the way, is Mammoth Cave, which we want to. Yeah, we're hoping to catch Mammoth Cave. I've never been to Mammoth Cave, and I, I'd kind of like to. To hit that on the way back. So anyway, but uh, we're not we're taking too many side excursions on the way down. We're kind of focused on we have to get to, to a certain to, place to a certain by, a certain time, by a certain day time. And, and so, but this is night three, and um, I feel as though this is like we always intended to do a little podcasting um, on this trip, and this is kind of a nice night for the first one. Uh, my personal feeling was, uh, if, well, if, uh, I'll backtrack a little more. It's been really cold in our area, up in the, the Elwood, Chicago area. It's been unnaturally cold. The spring has taken forever to begin. Uh, this is the, the end of April in 2013, mm -hmm. just to mark it. Mm -hmm. And winter didn't really start till February this year. And uh, we had a very mild Christmas time, very mild January, and then all of a sudden, February came, started getting really brutal. And it really has stayed brutal right into April. And it's been a very cold April, and you know, the, the temperatures are in the 40s. Just a couple weeks ago, we were just telling this waitress in a, the restaurant where we ate supper that uh, we had to run the water all night, so our our pipes wouldn't freeze. And it's April. That's unheard of. And that's because if the temperature drops below freezing and there's any kind of wind, um, we have a very old house and the, the kitchen pipes freeze and you can't have that. If they remain frozen too long, well, they burst and that's no fun. Then you gotta call a guy and he's gotta come in with his little helpers and, and fix things. And, I just assume not to have to call the little guy. He's actually kind of a tall guy, but the um, so I mean besides celebrating our twenty fifth anniversary, it's also we just kept thinking we got to get out of this cold area. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna get to go south where it's warm all the time, and I think <laughs> we've been looking for, been watching the temperature gauge in our car. And it was floating around uh, the late, the, the high 50s, just kind of touched into the 60s on, on uh, the first day. 
And then we thought, oh boy, it's, it's going to keep creeping up. But uh, even this morning, we started out and it was the 50s. 58. It was, and, and not only that, but and it was, it, I guess and I guess it's been uncharacteristically cold up you know, like in the southern Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee area, it's been uncharacteristically cold. We were watching that temperature and it didn't start to go up till we started to get south of Atlanta. Right. As soon as we got through Atlanta, temperature just Start started shooting to up. And when we reached we're in Macon, Georgia tonight. I think you mentioned Macon, that. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh we got out of the car and the sun was shining and it was eighty three degrees, eighty two, eighty three. And oh, we were driving the last couple miles with the windows down, and it was whoa, so so wonderful. And so, we didn't remember what it felt like to be in any place. We saw the temperature going up into the seventies, and we were we were having conniptions. <laughs> um, but that was the worst of today uh, because we left. You know, back back up a little bit. Uh, yesterday, the last hour of the drive, we had some storms. It was raining. Very rainy. Yeah. Well, today started today out Today was just We went unbelievable. through one rainstorm after another, and we were driving through. Well, Bill was driving. I was sitting, watching the map. She's the navigator. Yeah, and... Um, I'm going to open a pop. Excuse me, listener. Driving through these mountains in Tennessee, which were pretty... I mean, there were there was one point where we were coming, approaching Chattanooga. That was a really that seemed like a that really was, uh, long drive between uh, Murfreesboro and Chattanooga. Chattanooga. That was that only was, it was only ninety eight miles. That was the longest ninety eight miles. That was horrendous. We were going through these mountains, and and they have these. We began to become aware of uh, runaway truck ramps. Yeah. That were built into the uh, built next to the road and because I, you know, these trucks lose their brakes on the way We should down. say it was torrential rain. It was just pouring. Yeah. It was it was and you couldn't visibility but was then bad. you run out of it for a maybe you know a couple of minutes and it would almost look like it was going to clear up and then it would start again. Yeah and, and the terrifying thing is it's like when you're driving down these downgrades and, and it's like um going up into the mountains isn't that bad. You're just kind of chugging up like with everybody else. And in the rain, it, it, it's intimidating. What's scary is when you start going downhill and you feel like, well, you don't want to ride your brake too much, but it's like after a while you just go, oh, my God. You know, it's like uh, to the people that live in the area, they must be used to it. I mean, I was getting passed by people, and hmm. I don't think I encountered too much rudeness on the highway, but it... It, it makes you feel like, oh, man, I am a flatlander because I don't know how to cope with mm -hmm. uh, this uh, type of driving. And the, um, the highway in many spots along there is just dynamited through the rock. I mean, it is just blasted through. And there's these sheer rock, jagged rock uh, walls on either side of you. And the water was just pouring was down those pouring things. Pouring down the, all these the like spontaneous waterfalls. And uh, I mean, it was scary. really getting kind of. They, we had warnings about falling rock. Of course, they're probably up there yeah. all the time. But this water was just. And, and it, was, uh, it was kind of intimidating. No, know? it was intimidating. And there's a couple places where, the, like, the truckers are usually aggressive drivers. Well, that's a nice word. These, you know, I didn't see too much aggression with the truck drivers in this weather. I mean, there, it was terrifying. And like I said, when Marge, Marge mentioned the runaway truck ramps. It's like in the downgrade because gravity is pulling you, and especially in the in the rain, you just feel like, well, I'm going to start hydroplaning at any moment.